Did you know skills barely impact your damage and only a handful do anything for you? If anyone tells you skills will heavily increase your damage in the late game, they are objectively wrong. I'll tell you exactly why this is the case and which skills you should be using in this two-part early and late game skill guide series. I have nine skill lineups prepared and this is how we're going to do our testing. We're running a clean frog build with our weakest slime Aku. We have equipped a regular ring that doesn't increase the damage of any of the skills we're using in our testing, so we can focus on documenting skill damage changes when we switch skills around without any influence from our rings or slimes. First, we will start with the builds using Rage, Reaper, and Magic Coin. I have three builds on the screen. The boss starts with 733s HP at Infernal 1 Stage 7-1. We can see there is an incremental increase with each build. The boss was left with 660s HP while only using Rage, 656 SHP when using Rage and Reaper, and then 655 SHP with Magic Coin added on. Now what if we add our Mythics? The three skill lineups are up on the screen. With Bird Strike we get 654 SHP remaining. Adding Blizzard we're still at 654 SHP. And finally with Dark Clouds added into the mix, we're left with 653 SHP, meaning we only gain 2 S in damage from adding 3 high level mythic skills to our build. Our nearly max mythic skills only increase damage by 2.5%. Since in total we dealt 80 S in damage to the stage boss, and our mythics only gave us 2 additional S in damage. Having learned this, let's try 3 additional skill loadouts. What happens if we switch around our mythic skills with epic and legendary skills using the following skill loadouts? As you can see, regardless of what we change, we are left with 654 S HP on all three builds, meaning mythics are not at all required for your skills. There is only a change of 1s in damage, going from 3 overleveled mythics to 3 legendary and epic spells. Honestly, that is a huge disappointment given how slowly mythics level. This happens because skills are scaling through the use of attack. Legend of Slime favors companion damage, meaning the overall impact skills will have to your damage for staging is extremely low as we can see from our testing. In summary, you should be using Rage, Reaper, and Magic Coin due to their treasure and relic synergies. For the rest of your skills, you should use Irradiating Comet as it has approximately the same damage as all other skills, but it does additionally reset the cooldown of one other skill. And as we've noted, the other two or three skills do not matter. Just choose your highest damage dealing skill with the shortest cooldown, which will either be Pyrokinesis or a Mythic skill. This is part one of a two-part series part one focuses on late game part two will focus on early game so stay tuned if this helped you at all please subscribe